their patients have when they get their diagnosis this shock. They often feel alone and feel that no one can really understand what they're going through. A local woman fighting for her life has turned to social media to share her story and give others reasons for hope. Here's NBC Connecticut's Carrie Lee Mayland. At 26, the last thing this newlywed expected to get out of life was a cancer diagnosis. Hodgkin's lymphoma, stage 4B. Scary, but at the same time, um, talking with my doctors and formulating a plan was empowering. And so was writing. Karen began to blog under the title of Eyes Open Always. Something her grandfather used to say, keep your eyes peeled, you don't want to miss anything. Read Karen's blog. It's clear she isn't. I have an average of about 250 people that visit it every day and I have over 155,000 hits to the site, which is just crazy to me, um, you know, how much it's grown. Karen writes every few days, and for her and her readers, the blog is both therapeutic and practical. Through this blog, I'm kind of taking away some of the, the stereotypes or the fears that can surround cancer and cancer patients. Because unfortunately, inevitably, we're all going to be touched by cancer in, in some way in our lives. And hopefully through reading my blog, they can see that cancer patients do still live their lives. Dr. Evan Fox from Hartford Hospital's Cancer Center says Karen is part of a new generation of tech-savvy patients using social media to search out treatment options, support groups, and make new friends. This is actually a, quite an unusual blog, having uh, reviewed it. One, the design is, is quite beautiful. It's very inviting. And her language and her, her ability to communicate her thoughts and feelings have, have really reached beyond just the individual patient who might be suffering from a similar problem. Dr. Fox says Karen's post about intentions on January 8th really stood out to him. It's her year in review of sorts, painful posts peppered with positivity. Karen writes that she connected with truly amazing and inspiring individuals from all over the country, my fellow cancer warriors, she writes. But reality is not absent from her musings. Lost my hair eyebrows and eyelashes completely. Reading this, it's unimaginable to some of us, tragically too familiar to others. But go to her blog and look at the pictures of her cancer journey. Notice something? She's smiling in nearly all of them. The blog keeps me going. Um, sometimes I just look back and I think of, oh my gosh, I cannot believe all I've been through, the good things, so I want to suck those in you know, as much as I can because those are only temporary, and then the bad things too. I'm, things can only get better. And to check out Karen's blog for yourself, go to our website, NBCConnecticut.com.